Hello everyone. Uh, today we will discuss another 11 questions on programmatic advertising, which I have made, which will be generally useful for the programmatic advertising professionals and as well as the person who want to enter into programmatic advertising. So it will help them during their interviews also in various ad tech companies. So let's start with uh, the 11 uh, questions. We are continuing the series of programmatic advertising questions. Let's discuss another 10 important questions and uh, just go ahead. So we'll start with the first question, which is uh, what is viewability? So viewability is a metric in digital advertising that tracks ad impressions, which are actually seen by real humans. These impressions are called viewed impressions, not to be confused with impressions on a computer or mobile screen. In simple words, if you have an advertising an advertisement that shows at the bottom of a website and visitor does not scroll far enough to see it, a viewed impression will not be recorded. Back in 2011, the IAB ANA Association, uh, Associ the American Association of Advertising Agencies and Association of National Advertisers joined forces in an attempt to uh, fix digital uh, m measurement, a known challenge to advertisers. This brought about the viewable impressions metric to measure accountability of the platforms. Ads are served by shifting from measuring served impressions to measuring viewable impressions. Also with viewability, advertisers can now more effectively compare the effectiveness of their ads served on digital media as compared to other media like TV and print. Uh, second question, what is the difference between eCPM and CPM? CPM stands for cost per thousand impressions or cost per mile. It is a fixed price advertisers bid or pay for each thousand impressions. For publishers, CPM represents the revenue generated from these thousand added impressions. ECPM stands for effective cost per thousand impressions or effective cost per mile. Both ECPM and CPM illustrate the ad revenue generated by the publisher from thousand ad impressions. The main difference is that the, the CPM is the average of multiple C, uh, CPMs. ECPM is the average of multiple CPMs because many advertisers are bidding on each ad impression with different CPM. The price is not fixed. ECPM gives you the combined average of all advertiser bids for your ad impressions. CPM equals to total cost of ad you know, campaign number of ad impressions into 1000 versus ECPM equal to total ad revenue uh, divided by total ad impressions into 1000. Third question is what is a viewable ad? A display ad is counted as viewable when at least 50% of its area is visible on the screen for at least one second. For large display ads of 240 or 500 pixels or more, the ad is counted as viewable when at least 30% of its area is visible for at least one second. A video ad is counted as viewable when at least 50% of its area is visible on the screen while the video is playing for at least two seconds. What are measurable impressions? An impression is counted whenever your ad is served. Measurable impressions represent the number of times your ad appeared in locations on websites or apps that could be measured by active view technology not all impressions are measured by active view as some factors may prevent the data from being captured this metric can help you understand how often your ad appeared in locations measured by active view what is viewable rate and measurable rate so viewable rate is the viewability rate of your ad it's the percentage of time when your ad appeared on sites or apps with active view enabled and was viewable this percentage estimates how many of your measurable impressions were actually viewable to potential customers. Versus the measurable rate, the measurable impressions uh, over total impressions represent the percentage of your total impressions that were measured by active view. Total impressions include both measurable and non uh, me me measurable impressions. This metric can help you understand how often your ad appeared in places that were able to be measured by active view technology. What is HAR log? So generally HAR logs are required sometimes when you are uh, like uh, when you got to know that you have delivered some potential unwanted ads on your website then some HAR logs are required in order to provide proof that such kind of ads have delivered. So in that case uh, you need to record the HAR log. So HAR is HTTP archive format. It is a log of a web browser's interaction with a site. This information is required for troubleshooting web console issues in web applications. HAR log should be collected from the machine from which you are trying to connect to the web application. So the, the process of generating HAR log and file in, especially in Chrome browser is open Google Chrome, 
In Chrome, go to the web page in question, select the Chrome menu, more tools, developer tools, select the networks tab. Within the networks tab, select preserve log option. Record log by selecting the red circle at the <coughs> top left of the networks tab. Refresh the page and allow Chrome to record browser website interaction. Once the page is loaded, <coughs> select the console tab and right click on the console box, save as, name the file as, uh, as your preference. Go back to the networks tab and right click element. Save HAR with content, upload HAR and log files to the support ticket. What is the Charles session? This is also a Charles debugging tool for uh, app related issues. So Charles proxy is a web debugging, to debugging tool that monitors the network, calls and decrypts the web traffic. It helps in understanding the content in your network call. Requests sent to the server and data fetched from the server. This network debugging tool can read the web traffic of Windows, Android and iOS devices. What is ad mediation? Ad mediation is a solution that allows publishers to use technology to offer their ad inventory to multiple advertisers through ad mediation and mediation platform. The goal is to maximize ad monetization by increasing the effective cost per mile display, ad fill rates and general efficiency. Mobile ad mediation is a management solution that uses technology to allow publisher and developer to operate multiple ad networks via a single software development kit and ad mediation platforms generally streamline and optimize searches for top performing ad networks eliminating the need for publishers to do so manually ad mediation formula is ad revenue equal to ad request into fill rate into cpm what is the process of ad mediation and how does it actually work ad mediation through ad mediation platforms provides uh, ad publishers access to multiple ad networks Advertisers then bid against each other for the available ad inventory. The ad mediation platforms ultimately select the advertiser that will generate the biggest return on investment. Or simply put, the highest bidder wins. Again, publishers rank multiple ad networks in the order they prefer them. Look to the top and network to fill an ad request. But if that ad network cannot uh, perform, the ad network uh, mediation platform moves to the next one to fill the request. The publisher continues sending ad requests to their list of specific ad networks until the request is filled. What are the uses of ad mediation platforms? So the main goal of ad mediation and mediation platform is to increase ad revenue for publishers. The platform connect to multiple ad networks via a single integration then perform ad mediation with the data generated from each network filling up an ad inventory with the highest CPM possible. Ad mediation platforms maximize, uh, maximize ROI by selling ad space through either waterfall bidding or in-app header bidding. Waterfall bidding, the older of the two options, involves prioritizing and ordering multiple ad networks based on their total ad revenue. For instance, when an app developer requests to fill an ad, the mediation platform selects the highest performing ad network until the demand has been met, after which it moves on to the next ad network in line. <coughs> in header bidding method, however, publishers have multiple advertisers which engage in real-time bidding for a specific ad space <coughs> via a more uh, modern advertising technology. The highest bidder pays $0.01 higher than the second highest bidder to win the ad space. In this way, the mediation platform selects high paying advertisers and publishers and can sell their admins at the highest rate they can offer. Comparing ad mediation versus RTB mobile, the difference lies in their approach. Ad mediation involves using a platform to search for the highest quality ad networks possible when delivering ad inventory to multiple demand channels. With this, publishers have a better chance of filling their ad servers with the most suitable ads. The fo focus is on how to fill their space with the best ad. On the other hand, RTB Mobile centers on the audience. As the name suggests, it allows advertisers to put their bids on available slots, making it easier to track and evaluate each impression based on its own matrix. Merits. Uh, advertisers can access hundreds of ad exchanges and decide on how much to bid based on the value they attach to each audience. This makes it most uh, uh, more. This makes it cost efficient for advertisers since they strategically target valuable customers. What are the benefits of ad mediation? So benefits are in it increases display ad fill rates. Ad mediation helps boost ad fill rates by increasing the amount of ad inventory sold. Publishers can allow multiple ad networks access to their ad inventory, <coughs> enabling advertisers to bid for their ad space. This opens the door to greater competition between advertisers willing to pay more for a space. It provides a cohesive, uh, cohesive ad management structure. Ad mediation lets publishers uh, uh, multiple ad networks through one platform and also lets app developers manage the same via SDK integration, removing the need to manage each ad network on an individual basis. Increases CPM rates. Ad mediation platforms help publishers boost CPM rates through the connection with multiple ad networks. When there's more 
then one advertiser competing for impression CPM rate goes up without ad mediation and multiple network there won't be any competition and there will be no option but to sell inventory to a single offer so that's it for today uh, I hope you like the questions and the variety of questions which I have given in this we'll continue with this programmatic advertising questions and uh, for today it's enough and uh, Let's go through it and then implement th those things in your learning. Thank you.